so the week before the storm, I think Tuesday of that week, um, the storm was going to be a direct impact to, to Greenville. But then as the week moved on, Thursday, Friday, it wasn't going to hit us at all. But then Saturday came, we saw that the, it, the storm had shifted west, and uh, we knew we were in for it. Um, not full hurricane, but just the amount of, of wind and rain that was going to impact us. Hurricane Matthew's toll is rising in the southeast. The storm is blamed for at least 19 deaths. Severe flooding led to more than 1,000 water rescues. The cost of property damage could hit $6 billion. You know, it was the first time that the city, since we had built the EOC in 2013, that we had opened it uh, for an emergency event. And it was, it was, it was really um, great to have that open uh, and great to have everyone right there. Fire Rescue uh, was the first one that was really affected and uh, on that night we started getting a lot of calls for water rescues, uh, water evacuations. Uh, I believe we had around uh, 40 to 50 water uh, rescues. Those responses lasted uh, about six hours. Over about a six hour period of time we were able to get everybody to a position of safety. During the night of the storm, uh, we had our traffic folks out there barricading roads, roads were that quickly. I mean, it was a flash flooding experience and uh, uh, areas of the city that have not flooded before were flooding. This storm was very uncertain, so we uh, maintained a constant awareness of the National Weather Service uh, briefings. Uh, we were getting those uh, every day, sometimes two times a day. We also, we had to start looking through our emergency operation plan for the city and make sure that it was up to date. We passed out information, uh, hurricane checklist as well as flooding, flooding checklist to, to ensure that all departments uh, were prepared for uh, this type of event. The good thing about it, the city had already told the public through social media, through regular media, through uh, print material that this storm was coming. We're taking this opportunity this morning uh, to bring you up to date on where we are as a city as we Again, walk through to the next phase in this operation, dealing now, move transitioning from obviously a, a hurricane situation over the weekend to now a significant flooding event which continues to unfold. Sunday, you know, the storm passes through Saturday night, Sunday, assessment of damage. You know, six feet, seven feet above major flood category. I think we topped out in the um, river stage of about 25, which is the second highest ever uh, recorded in Greenville. In, in emergency management, we've got the preparation phase, we have the response phase, and we have the recovery phase, which we're in the recovery phase right now. But one thing I will say, we started doing recovery even while we were doing response. We were making sure that we had representatives from FEMA uh, coming to town, understanding that the residents need to be back on their feet as quickly as possible. And in some cases, people were already getting assistance from FEMA the day after the, the first uh, initial hurricane went through. And I can say that's phenomenal planning. That's the way you look out for your citizens and that's the way we make sure that our community gets back on track quickly. From my position, I was extremely proud uh, that the city came together, recognized that we were facing another very uh, horrific event. We knew we had to put planning in place. All departments worked together to ensure we had the modeling and the mapping of flooding, both flash flooding and uh, long-term flooding. We knew where to put the evacuation zones at. Uh, we used the latest, greatest technology to ensure that the, that the uh, residents were informed, they were safe, we had no tragedies to occur within the city limits. You know, this is uh, uh, my first hurricane down here, but uh, from a FEMA declared event, this was my sixth time through uh, one, and this was absolutely the most seamless, cooperative uh, event that I've seen. Just uh, IT, police, parks, fire, uh, public works, uh, all organizations within the city were just working together fantastically.